In this video, I'd like to show you how you can use Question Spy and Keyword Grouper Pro to do some high level niche research in just a matter of minutes. Uh, but you're going to get a lot of information back and you're going to do it using the use of people's questions and the groups that are contained inside those questions. So in order to save time, I've opened up Question Spy top searches and I've opened up Question Spy top searches commercial intent. And I know nothing about this topic, so it makes a good one to search on. I just put in betta fish or beta fish. I'm not sure exactly how you say that word there, uh, but we've done it in both sides. Then I'm just going to go ahead and control A, control C to copy those. Now, I have an old instance of Keyword Grouper Pro, and I wanted to do that for this reason. Um, once I'm finished with this, if I want to refresh it and do it again, you could close the tab down and open it again. You could also hit Control, Shift, and R to do a full refresh, or you can hit Refresh in your screen. And if I do that, you'll notice the data is still there, so I can hit Control, Shift, R, and that'll totally clean everything out and give me a totally new instance of Keyword Grouper Pro. So I take this, uh, these betta fish questions, and I will paste them there. And then I'll go ahead and go to the commercial intent, control A, control C, copy them to the clipboard, and then I will just hit enter there. Okay. So now we have all of our questions that people have been asking all over the internet about um, beta fish. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the minimum group length at three. And I definitely want to exclude the word beta and we're going to also exclude fish. Okay, so I'll set that as excluded words list and then I'll process these keywords. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Okay, we're back now, it's finished. So there was a total of 807 keywords that they analyzed and 124 different groups were created that have at least three or more. So now I, know, I knew nothing about, before I started, I knew nothing about this topic, but if I'm doing research, maybe I'm gonna develop a new site or a part of my site I want to develop. So we see a lot of people are asking questions about eating. What do they eat? What do they eat in the wild? Um, where do they live? Um, we have questions related to food fighting, um, the kinds of live together and kind of water plants. We have sleeping, the dye, the breed, um, females, the color, specific color, um, mating, need, pooping, how long do they live, bubbles, kill, okay? And I'm just reading the term that they were grouped by, but if you look at these questions, you'll see they're grouped how long to, to beta fish sleep. How long can a beta fish be out of water? How long are beta fish pregnant? So everyone having questions specifically were tied to the word long, how long? And we can scroll down through here. Now, as we mentioned in the previous video, and you'll want to see that, if we want to take this eat here, and actually we'll just do it real quick just to show you. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this. Then I'm just going to hit Control Shift R, and I'll paste that in. Now that did clear out all my information, so I don't have it anymore. But uh, just to show you this here, I'm, this time I'm going to put in um, fish, beta, and the word eat, which was actually what they were grouped by before. Um, but this time we'll go to two. And so I put the excluded words in, I set the group length of two and I hit process keywords. Okay, here we go. So this is, will beta fish eat ants? Can beta fish eat tropical fish food? Um, and then how much food are beta fish supposed to eat. So we got three nice groups out of that. And if we want to click on less than two, we still have some terms that just simply, there are no, there's not even two that go together. So there's, there's nothing in common uh, with these. That's, these still are going to be great keywords like will beta fish eat guppies, will beta fish eat mosquito larvae. So uh, these are still really good keywords for your site, but just know we were able to break that down into uh, two more groups here. And then you can take these groups and you can actually plan out uh, your entire site. And I'm going to show you how we can take these keywords and actually make a mind map for our new site that we're going to create around this topic. But this is just a really quick video to show you that you can take a topic you know absolutely nothing about, nothing at all about, you can put it into Question Spy, you get all the questions back people are asking, then go to Keyword Grouper Pro, break those questions down into individual topics, and now you know exactly uh, which topics are people have lots of questions about and you can build your site around these topics and you can do it really quickly without even knowing anything when you started.